welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Day. So I have here another pen for review, and this is a Banu pen, and this was graciously loaned to me by Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies. So I'd like to thank Derek for loaning me this pen for review. Seize it as a center of potentiality. In an exciting paper, Lauren Joseph describes a scenario of evolution that is completely, completely outside of the Darwinian dogma. In this description, Joseph co combines the discovery of the contemporary biology with the thesis of the Fred Hoyle and uh, Chandra Wikrama Wik Singhje that uh, life originally came to this planet from outer space. Yay! From outer space carried by the cosmic de debris, or dust and meteorites, the first microbes to arrive on Earth, Joseph described, contain the genetic machinery for growing the tree of life. Oh, such a romantic story. They also changed the planet in a way that created, created the right living conditions. Alternating, alternating the womb of the planet so this seed could grow branches and bear, fr uh, bear fruit in the, in the form of increasingly complex species. The term metamorphosis, uh, the term metamorphosis, metamorphosis derives from the Greek and denotes a, a transformation of some sorts. The Greek morph means form and the uh, uh, prefix meta has various meanings among them uh, beyond. In many cases, a uh, metamorphosis is, is a change in which hidden or seemingly numerous forces are at work. Ha, forces. In the biology, the term is used to denote changes in the life forms that occur during the development of the some animals, like uh, when the, when the uh, caterpillars turn into butterflies. Wow! Transformation, yeah. Me when we look at such a metamorphos metamorphosis, we don't think that an, an evolution, uh, uh, we don't think that an evolutionary process is at work that evolves one type of animal from one another. We explain them in terms of the activities of the genes that can be turned on and off during the growth of an animal. Yeah, this is what is happening for gro growth factor, right? I mean, gene expression, right? It's, it's nothing special. At the beginning, beginning of your life, one fertilized egg cell, the zygote, yeah, I remember that, contained the potential for everything that could happen in your biological life. Out of this, one sing single cell and all, all the other type of cells in your body were formed. The liver cells, kidney cells, muscle cells, and brain cells. We don't look at these cells like they are different animals or species that evolved by chance out of a community of the cells and somehow survived in a struggle for life. In the same way, Lone Joseph proposes we should look at the evolution of life. Huh. Like the development of an embryo and like the metamorphosis of the caterpillars. Evolution is under genetic regulatory control. Wow. Evolution is under genetic regula regulatory control. The first cell that exists on this planet, Joseph explained, contains the genes and the gen genetic information for alternating the environment, the evolution of multicellular eukaryotes, and the metamorphosis of the all of the subsequent species and their extinction. Right. The early microbes that arrived on the, this planet from outer space were genetic seeds. Ha! Genetic seeds, good, good analogy, right? The tree of life grew out of them, like an apple tree can grow out of an apple seed. There is no process, there is no process of the evolution. There is only an actualization of the potentiality contained in the seeds before it is actualized. Wow! the symphony. Now, the pen tapers down a lot to the cap band here, and you'll notice here it says Bennu. And then the body tapers down even more down to where you see this glitter on the pen, and then you have the end cap there. So, if I unscrew the cap, 
you'll see here it has a Schmidt nib and this is a medium nib. This is a number six size nib. Now, normally Banu's, most of the Banu's that Banu have brought out so far have had... The extinction of the countless species is an unquestionable fact of the history of the life on this planet. In Lone Joseph's analysis, the, the ex ex extinction of genes, cells, and entire species is also genetically programmed. Wow. When a tree grows and loses one of its branches, we don't look at this as a result of the aggression of the other branches that are striving for biological fitness. In the same way, countless species fell off, fell off of the tree of life, like programmed cell death. Yeah! Ah, uh, apo apoptosis, right? Apoptosis. Joseph, Joseph explains, extinction is often intrinsic to, to and necessary for the development, evolution, and the metamorphosis of an increasingly complex species. Right. That feels really nice. Now, you can post the cap as well if you are a cap poster, and it will actually sit there quite nicely. Now, the glitter here is not on the surface so this is at least a couple of layers under the surface and it's lacquered so you are probably not going to actually scratch that up but i still am not a cap poster myself so normally i would prefer not to post a cap but i think with this pen it should be fine joseph describes an extinct uh, joseph describes an exciting aspect of the process when he says that uh, life doesn't actualize outside of the cosmic order but instead instead new species emerge emerge in the interaction of existing species with the environment wow signals from the environment to influence genetic uh, influence genetic activity let me repeat it again signals from the environment influence uh, uh, genetic activity genetic, uh, genetic activity in turn can affect the environment of course and the uh, environment changes can influence what forms of life will actualize and what forms will be eliminated right for example micro uh, microbial activity at an earlier stage in the history of this planet changed the environment by increasing the con con concentration of oxygen in the global atmosphere right yes yes of course uh, you know uh, uh, oxygen molecules were toxic for many many animals but somehow a uh, 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 small uh, 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 lives uh, adopt to this environment life is an expression of the cosmic potentiality Thus, I think that it is actualizing in many places in the universe. In this process, uh, in, in this process, life on Earth is a uh, could describe it just a, just a sample of life evolutionary possibilities. Just a sample of life's evolutionary possibilities. The potentiality is that of a system. Ultimately, the system includes the genes, the planet, the solar system. Uh, the galaxy, the cosmic potentiality. Joseph's account of the uh, Joseph's account of the actualization of the life doesn't rely on uh, aggression as a primary virtue. It is in uh, it is in agreement with the principle of the potentials potentialities as a, a as a basis of reality. It doesn't have to assume that uh, the law of quantum chemistry don't apply to biology. It operates within the order of the universe and doesn't send us into exile to the boundary of an alien world, as Monod, Monod thought. In short, Joseph's, Joseph's is a, a, an Im immensely reasonable account whose time has come. Yee.